Hello my YouTube friends. In today's video I am going to show you what I do to find a blockage within a pipe that is buried in the wall, in the ground, and I'm to know the exact position where the blockage is occurring itself. And we're going to do it only using a regular cell phone and a piece or a small piece of a neodymium magnet. Don't miss this video because I assure you that at some point you are going to need it. Well, here we have a representation on the ground, of course, of a wall in which there's a pipe that goes in here and out over here on the other side. This pipe is three meters long, three long steps. And in one of its parts, it is obstructed. We should break away, chip away at that wall in the exact place where the obstruction is located. But there is no way we can know that just by looking at where this pipe runs through. In this whole area, it could be going through, but we don't know if it makes a big, a big uh, turn this way, if it makes an S and a curve, or where the blockage is located. To discover it and break as little of the wall necessary to find where the problem is, we're going to do the following. This is not necessary, but so that you can see where, more or less, the blockage might be located, we are going to send this cable pulling tape to where it enters. We see it goes in, and there it gets stuck. It's getting blocked there. We pull it out, and we see that there's a meter and a half. That is, it's blocked from this edge from a meter and a half. What we don't know is if this pipe goes there and turns back, if it makes a curve, we know it's a meter and a half in, but we don't know where exactly. If we count a meter and a half, it could be, uh, it could come through here, and from here go there for the exit, or it could make a turn, come here, and go to the exit. So we are going to use our contraption to discover the exact spot with almost no margin of error of where it's blocked. For that we are going to take our cell phones and we're going to look for a special app. The app is called uh, magnetic, uh, magnetic Field Detector. I don't know if you can see it there. It's a free app. There are many. You can download it from the internet and have it installed on your phone. And with that you can measure any magnet, any magnetic field, practically in an exact way. The next step will be to send the cable pulling tape. And here at the end with a bit of electrical tape, we stick on a small piece of neodymium magnet. We are going to send it until it stops. It's at the end. And now with the, with the app, which we already have here, we open it, and we start it. Let's see, we have about 25 uh, microteslas there, which is the unit of measurement for magnetic fields. Now with this, with this uh, app, we move around anywhere searching until that reading of 25, 26 starts to change. We might think that the cable goes through here, but here, but it doesn't change at all over here. That is that we wouldn't know where, where we should dig, but, but look, I come around here and over here, it starts to increase. Now I have 27, and not 25 like here. It means that the magnet is over here. That one that appears here there is here. We're getting closer. We keep moving. We see that it increases in that direction. We are at 35, 36, 31. It increases to 40 in this direction. We are at 40, 50. The maximum is close over here. 100. 168. This is the maximum, which is 168 at this point. 
Now we are going to chip away at the wall in this spot. Oh, you can see. And here is the obstruction. Which of course I caused myself. This cable reached exactly here. But, in order to get here, it had, it had to go through this entire path. To then come out on the other side. There. So, we have, without having had this, this, uh, this invention, we could have broken a meter and a half. We could have broken here, 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 and anywhere within the meter and a half, but we would never know exactly where the obstruction was going to be. <sighs> there was the obstruction that I had caused. As you can see with a simple phone application that it's totally free and, uh, and a little ingenuity on our part, a cable pulling tape with a piece of magnet attached. You see here that that it shows us 25 microteslas when we bring the magnet closer. Look at what happens. There at 15 to 20 centimeters away it starts to rise and rise until it reaches 100 to 100 depending on how close we bring it. It can reach a thousand also if it's closer. I know that maybe some of my electrician friends can tell me, but what if the pipe, uh, if the pipe through which the cable passes is, uh, is metal? Well, here we have a metal pipe, and we are going to put the, we are going to put the tape through here, and we are going to try it out ourselves. You see the reading by yourself: 27, 28, 60, 70, and at some point it's going to start to vibrate and it's at the maximum 250 260 when we when we bring them closer there exactly is where the obstruction would be which is where the magnet is we remove it and we'll see that exactly there is where the magnet is located um, iron is permeable to magnetic fields so it will also be detected whether it's something made out of plastic, something made out of cement, or whatever. The magnetic wave will pass the same, and it will detect it with the uh, with the magnetic magnetic field detector. As you have seen with a little imagination and the help of technology. We can get through situations that can sometimes be a little complicated. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and recommend these videos. Share them because all of that helps this, this channel grow. And now let's give a shout out to Angel David Mendoza Gracia, who didn't tell me where he's from, and Ariel Giri from Chacabuco, Buenos Aires. They were the first to comment on a previous video. To these two people, I send a big hello from the Angelito channel and from my own. That's all for this video, and we'll see you the next time, my friends.